Hi, fourth and fifth graders. I'm here today to talk to you about something so important, and that is your future. You'll notice in one corner of my board, it says hope for the future. And there's a very special hope that I have for you and that all the people that care about you, your teachers and your family have for you. And it has to do with this word, graduate. It's probably a word that you know and you have heard quite a bit. You've probably heard the word graduation. <clears throat> do you know what it means? Usually people use that word when they talk about ending part of your schooling and celebrating that accomplishment. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about you graduating and some things that might happen and we hope will happen in your future. So you'll notice I put the word graduate on top of a hat. It's called a graduation cap and I have one here to show you today, more than one even. Um, and it's a symbol of the really special thing that happens at different points in your life. Now, you might have, when you were getting out of preschool or might in the future when you get out of elementary school or middle school, have something that people will call a graduation. But one of the most important times that you will be a graduate is at the end of 12th grade. But before we talk more about that, let's think about all the different years that you have of schooling. I'm talking to you now while you're in fourth or fifth grade and you are in a public elementary school. So public just means that it's free and it's a wonderful thing about our country, the United States of America, that in every town just about, there are free public schools that everyone can go to and it's very special, it's not true in every country. And the very first school students attend is called elementary school. You attend the Woodside Elementary School and our school goes from kindergarten to fifth grade. So let's just snap all of those grades, okay? And you can do it with me if you'd like. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. So that's six grades, and if you're in fourth grade, you just have one more year, and if you're in fifth grade, wow, you are at the end of your elementary school career just about. And that's something very special. You should be very proud of all the work that you've done in all the grades of school. But your school career, your school um, jobs are not completed at the end of elementary school. And I think that's really exciting because you have so much growing and so much learning and changing to do. So in our country, after you get out of elementary school, you graduate or move on to another school. Do you know the name of the next school that you'll attend? If you were thinking middle school, you are correct. In our town, the middle school is the Mount Ararat Middle School, but if you were to move, there would be a middle school at any town or a nearby town that you live in. So at the Mount Ararat Middle School, we have three grades, sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. And maybe you know where it is or you know somebody that goes there. Usually it's a much bigger school because many elementary schools all come and the kids all go there. It's a very exciting time of your life. And I wanted the fifth graders to hear that because you're about to embark on that time. There's lots of more opportunities. There'll be so many new people and teachers to meet. And that's true. As you get older, there's more and more opportunities. But <clears throat> at the end of eighth grade, your school career still is not over. Then you go on to your next school and you probably know the name of it, it's called high school. And in our town, it's called Mount Ararat High School. Do you know how many grades high school is? Four, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And it's fun to do it as snaps because those, day, those years will go very quickly and before you know it, You'll be 17 or 18 years old, and you will be a graduate. Now, you might be a kid who doesn't know that many graduates. Maybe there aren't a lot of people in your family who graduated from high school or other schools beyond high school. Or you might be from a family that lots and lots of people you know have graduated from one school or another. 
Well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter for your hopes for the future that you can, and I hope you will, graduate from high school. And to begin that process, I would like you to say this sentence with me. I will graduate from high school. Let's all say it together. I will graduate from high school. And I wanted you to say it out loud with me because it's a kind of promise I want you to make for yourself. There is no reason why you cannot graduate from high school and maybe even some other schools that we'll talk about in a minute in the future. I know this because I know you and I believe in you. And I know that you have worked hard all through elementary school, that you've had the most wonderful teachers and you will always have wonderful teachers that will want to help you. If you're a kid who has a lot of help at home or you're a kid that doesn't have a lot of help at home, there are lots of people at school that have this hope for you, for your future. Now, let's talk a little bit about what it's like to be a graduate. So when you get done with 12th grade, you will become a graduate and you will have a special event called a graduation. It's a super happy day. You're happy. All the people that care about you are happy because you have accomplished so much. You have gone through 13 years of public school and now you're ready to begin a whole new phase of your life. Because it's such a special accomplishment, people mark it in very special ways. For hundreds of years, there are special, special clothing that people wear. And this, as I mentioned, is a graduation cap. They come in all different colors. I know at Mount Ararat High School, they vote every year, I believe, on what color they would like. This was my uh, son's graduation cap. And he went to Morse High School in Bath, so they had blue ones. And then there is a very special gown, and I'll put it on so you can see it. If we were in person, I would see if you would like to try it on. And you'll see they're not like clothing that you see nowadays. These go back hundreds of years. So this is a gown, and this is a cap, and it's considered very special on the day when you get to wear them, and there's always a tassel attached to them. And I've had three different times in my life where I've been lucky enough to go to school and graduate, once from high school, once from college, and once from graduate school. And I remember all of those days so well. I was so proud every single time. Now, another thing people do is they get given a diploma, it's called, and it usually comes in a very special book. This was my high school diploma. There's a picture of my high school. I went to high school in a different state and city. So I still have it, right, after many, many years because it's an accomplishment and I feel really proud of it. And then I have two other diplomas. I took one out of its special book, but here's my college diploma. And this is my diploma from graduate school, and we'll be talking about that in just a minute. So this is in your future. You will have a day when you wear a graduation cap and gown and feel really good about your accomplishments. Now, some people might say, why bother? Why is it a big deal to graduate from high school as a first step in uh, your first graduation? It's so important for your future success. People who graduate from high school, it makes their life a little bit easier because then you can easily get into another school that you might want to go to, and we'll talk about that in a minute or go on to other opportunities. It's one of the first things people ask you if you apply for a job. Do you have a high school diploma? And you wanna be able to say yes and feel really proud about it. So I will graduate from high school. That is true of you. Now let's for a minute talk a little bit. Oh, before I go on, I wanna mention that every year it's a tradition at Woodside that students who went to Woodside in elementary school come back the day before their graduation day in their gowns and with their caps and come and visit our school in some way. We're hoping that will happen this year too before the end of the year. And if you see them, I hope you'll wave to them and smile at them and clap for them and think, 
that's going to be me someday. So after you graduate from high school, there's all kinds of ways to keep growing and learning throughout your whole life. And I find this very exciting about being a person, that you can continue to learn your whole life. So once you get out of high school, there's another school a lot of kids consider going to. Do you know what it's called? If you were thinking college, you are correct. That's just one of what are called post-secondary schools, schools that you can go to after you graduate from high school. So we have a neighbor in Brunswick, Maine, a college that's one of our neighbors, Bowdoin College, which is a wonderful school, but there are thousands and thousands of colleges all over the United States and the world. So what people do is they think about what interests them. And this is what's exciting about getting older and graduating from high school. You can really think about what you love and you can learn more about it. If you love to read, you can study literature and writing. If you love math, you can study more science or a particular kind of science like biology or marine biology. There's so many different sciences. You can go to an art or a music school or a design school. There are just so many different interests. For every interest a person has, there is a school. If you're interested in healthcare, being a nurse or a doctor or some part of that system, there's lots and lots of schools. Colleges aren't the only kinds of schools either. There are training schools that you can apply to and go to. Like, for example, if you wanted to be a police officer, there's a special police academy you could attend. Or if you wanted to be a mechanic and fix machines, there might be a special training program that you could offer. Or some people get a job and do a lot of training, what's called on-the-job training. BIW, the Bath Iron Works, which is nearby here, they do a lot of on-the-job training programs, and they're kind of like schools and training programs. So that can happen too. It's so amazing that there are just so many ways to continue your education after you graduate from high school. So thank you for your attention today. We've been talking about something pretty exciting today, your future. And I want you to know one more time how much I believe in you and how all of your teachers and the people who care about you believe in you. And we know we can see in you your potential to graduate, graduate from high school and possibly graduate from other schools after high school, like training programs and colleges, or even like me, keep going after college to a graduate school and study something like school counseling like I did. So I hope you'll always remember what we learned about today about your future.